Hello, Mrs. Murder here. I have been reprimanded for my last video for the initial quote. I was It was a dark and stormy night. I was standing on the deck. The captain said to me, tell me a story, my son. And so I began. It was a dark and stormy night. I had that all wrong. I left off dark and stormy night, but I was reviewing stormy. This week, I'm reviewing John Sanford's Deadline. And initially beginning this book, I went, oh, I'm never going to be able to read this book because I do not want to read about animals that are dog napped, stolen, and this whole village in southern Minnesota is having their animals stolen, and they're afraid they're selling them for, for uh, experiments to a lab or making money off of them or a pu some kind of puppy mill. Anyway, the whole town called in and Virgil Flowers bup, 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 is going to find the culprits. And he goes to the area <clears throat> where a lot of dogs have been heard yapping very early in the morning and it winds up, some I felt like I was in, oh, I don't know, the hills and mountains of Arkansas. I shouldn't say Arkansas, that's too close, but maybe Mississippi or where they go way back up in the in there and people people are very living in the mountains and <clears throat> kids are running wild and and it's kind of a unschooled untrained type of life and I I'm going come on there are no areas like that in Minnesota Minnesota is completely civilized but anyway so I get into this and then the murder occurs. So we have a murder and he goes in to investigate the murder. And then he, <clears throat> it's a member of us. It winds up involving the school board. And I went, okay, all right. School boards are great. They aren't going to, they aren't going to do, be corrupt. And the whole thing follows a, a line of investigation that is absolutely fascinating. Should be impossible, but as always, there's plenty of everything in this book. There's intrigue, there's, it's exciting, and I don't know, I, I'm glad that I finished, and by the time I finished it, I really liked the way it finished. I, I liked following the story along, it just moved right along. And I didn't couldn't wait for my blog to pick up the next book, so I'm already picking up the next Virgil Flowers. I have to turn my head and find it. Oh, sorry to turn my back on you while you were sitting there so patiently. Uh, John Sanford's Escape Clause, and this is really going to be good. I've already started it. I'm not. I'm, you'll have to wait until next week to find out anything about it. But I try not to be. I don't want any spoiler alerts. So I'm trying just to say, if you pick up a Virgil Flowers by Sam, John Sanford, any of the books, it's it's really fun. I like following them through consecutively because it refers, some parts of it refer back to previous sections in the book. And some of my books I'll be reviewing just a whole, the whole series. If I've read the whole series, I'll just block it as a series. And some of them will be individual books. Right now, this is the series I'm working on. But I have read a lot of um, all of the Janet Ivanovich, all of the, uh, all of the Sue Grafton's, and back when I was doing my female sleuths and uh, Women's Number One Detective Agency, all of those books, I've I've followed through a number of things. This is the first time I've gotten into <clears throat> someone that's quite this fast-paced, fast-moving, exciting, thrilling, and like I said before, in wonderful, beautiful Minnesota. I hope you enjoyed my blog and I'll be visiting with you next week on Escape Clause.